anyways this is beautiful you saw it all that b-roll trying to get better i'm trying to get on that peter mckinney not really anyways well i'm gonna go find the these guys before uh i get left or even worse locked in like last time if you guys saw that last video um we got locked in the park twice twice On some zombie shit, on some hard. House of the Dead shit, and so you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Zayla to shoot in these places where you gotta hike and climb down and jump off the bridge and go down the street and then do this and then do that. You be damn near almost about to fall over in the into the uh, the abyss for the shot you saw what happened last time but you know we always make it we always survive we always survive Shit. okay so you saw we are at abalone cove i'm here with dom the supreme shooter and he's gonna give us five tips on how to become the ultimate shooter yeah. all right hold on wait wait let me clean my lip right quick <laughs> yo what's up y'all dominic on instagram dom underscore nine five someone got to plug that in but uh yeah five best tips honestly the first one would definitely be investing you know make sure you get a good camera and you know ask around ask your homies you know like what's the best camera or go to a store get a feel of it yourself and i think nowadays you can even rent cameras too you rent stuff so maybe look into that so that's the first thing second thing you know we got youtube we got books so definitely do research in that and also apply those same teachings so when they teach you about you know aperture iso shutter speed all that stuff make sure you you know understand it you know how to apply it and understand like you know different situations with light dark limited light all that uh wait, that's two, three. what's i'm on three now folks Oh, oh, that's two. Oh, all right, so three. <laughs> Thank you. So, so after you, uh, you know, do more of that, I would say um, number three would definitely be talking to people like your homies and say like, yo, you want to be my model? You want to be my muse? You know, because at one point you end up shooting a lot of people. You end up shooting a lot of people. Aside from just shooting like you know the beach and all that stuff, that's like practice on your own. That's like practice on your own terms and stuff. But if you want to get into like the other side of photography as well, like more more like storytelling and maybe trying to find out maybe this type of route you want to go. Try that with people, you know. And sometimes you use your background. Cause I have friends that are into sports. They into cars. They into dancing. And so when some of them got into photography, they knew how to. They knew where to start. So does that? So that's three number four. All right, number four, number five. Number four. <laughs> yeah. So, so number four, bringing your camera everywhere you go. I don't care where you go. It could be work. It could be going to the 99 cent store, the lick store. It could be going to the park. Just bring it with you, cause you never know what could be happening. Cause at one, cause my, see where I messed up when I first started off is that I, I thought like, oh, well, I'm just wait till I go on vacation. I don't have that much money, so how much vacation I'm really doing, you know? If I go to the park, that's free. I go to the beach, that's free. So wherever you at, just go, you know, bring your camera price, cause you never know what could happen. You know, you can see someone with a nice outfit on, and if you go with social skills, you say, hey, might I take a picture of you? They might say yes, they might say no, whatever. You know, or you might see a nice car or a crazy sunset. So it's good to just bring that camera with you, see? See, Fly, see, Fly already know, she brought a camera. She brought a camera. She brought a camera, two. There's three cameras in the premises. She got one on her. Mm. <laughs> nah, but uh, but yeah. So, and the last tip I would say, might sound generic and stuff like that, but really just have fun with it. Cause the problem is that some you don't know you know with social media and stuff, people think like, oh, you know, I can just get the camera, we'll, we'll start, you know, 
getting money off of it, you know, just trying to get them numbers up, all that stuff that people think about for social media, like, like it really matters, right? I mean, it matters in the sense of, yeah, that's the game nowadays, but it really don't super, super matter, you know, really be in the field of it, you know, be, be out in your community, go to events, you know, really try to build your resume, your portfolio, like really have a lot of field work, so then the next stuff will be all the social media and yada, yada, yada. But definitely just have fun with it. Don't take it, you know, incredibly serious unless, you know, that time comes. But at the beginning, really just bring it everywhere with you when you go on vacation, when you, even when there's parties. And also I would say study film too. That's a bonus fact. Study film, they'll teach you with framing, composition. They'll teach you with the colors, like whether it be the warm side, the cool side, the color palette. It'll teach you a lot of stuff. You know, that was that's why I really wanted to start with. But later on, I was like, well, this, this whole shit a little easier. I kind of suck at video. <laughs> I got discouraged real quick. <laughs> But yo, those are my five plus bonus tips. But yeah. <laughs> there you go. Five tips on how to become a better shooter. Look at it. become a better shooter follow Dom follow Zay follow me just kidding I'm not on Instagram but you can for sure watch this YouTube video send it to your friends send it to all those aspiring photographers videographers video people for enthusiasts for hobbyists at this point I'm just making up words anyways have a good day peace I'm actually about to get into like trying to do a little video thing too because you and my homie got into like doing a tutorial and shit and I was like what the fuck? <laughs> 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 like, babe, in my cow. Okay, so in the next few clips, uh, you're going to see us at Wayfair's Chapel. We didn't really know anything was going on, but it turns out that SZA was uh, doing like a sound bath cleansing. And we didn't know anything about it, but we pulled up and we were just at the right place at the right time. And you'll see in the next clips, like what happens and everything. Zay and Dom are somewhere around here. We're at the Wayfarers Chapel. We didn't even know this was going on. We just pulled up to take some flicks. We just came back from- That's uh, crazy, you didn't know this was going on? Nah, we were. We actually came back from Abalone Cove, and it's down there. Y'all in a big, big finesse. That's crazy, you didn't even know this was going on. And you about to free, what? I got a camera. What, all praises to- all Tip number five. Oh my God, what? At the chapel, God is good. Tip number six, cause you know Dom gave you five tips on how to become a better shooter. I'm gonna give you the last one. Bring your camera everywhere. Oh no, he said that. Yeah, so obviously. That's, that's Mando. Mando, bring your camera everywhere. If you want, if you if you have a camera, you you don't bring it nowhere. What is you doing? What is the point? I pay seven hundred dollars for my shit. So if I don't make over seven hundred dollars plus interest, um, it's a problem. I mean. What's the deal? Like, I'm not shooting like I, like I should be. Bam. You heard it. Marquis said it. Dom said it. I'm telling you. Bring your camera everywhere. That's it. That's all. Goodbye.
Yeah, she she was like, I don't even know what to say right now. Basically, she saw the cameras before. There were a bunch of not a bunch of people, but they had like a professional, mm -hmm. like a 360 cam or like a what do you call those things that like live stream? There we go. Mm -hmm. They had a live stream cam up, and then a few minutes earlier, she just said, you know, shut it all down. And then she came and talked to us. It was like, I'm so sorry. Right, it's okay. We still fuck with her. We it's all good. Her. We love. It's all love. We're supposed to get this this good vibe going. Oh, we still love her. We have to wait for his chapel. It's a full moon. It's cold. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> I ain't even gonna hold you. It's cold. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready to go. But I mean, um, we're about to have a good time, man. After that, I'm. Oh God, I met Miss Jerlin. Miss Jerlin, the girl doing the sound bath. She's mm -hmm. pretty cool. Since we can't film, I feel like we should be able to see no problem. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, I feel like it's only right. I don't want to be in the front. I don't like being in the front, honestly. But you know the vibes. I feel like it's only right. Until next time. I'm not gonna hold you. I thought that after we got our cover blown, it was gonna be oh the light is gone. Well, that's it, folks. Good night. <laughs>